What's up, nerds and nerdettes and wee little nerdlings all? It's your buddy, Big Dino G, the Two Gun Pixel presents Legendary Gaming. <laughs> so, Tabletop Takeout Tuesday is upon us. And as you saw from the thumbnail, I'm talking about a classic, an oldie but a goodie. Something you've seen me do live playthroughs before, and I think I want to just give a quick talk about it because, well, well if I tell you now, then there's not going to be a lot to talk about later. So I'll see you down at the table. All right, so thank you for joining me down the bench. I've actually changed my mind. Today's a little bit milder than uh, it has been, and I thought I'd take this opportunity to come out early and uh, do this shoot while it's while it's still cool enough and mild enough, huh? <laughs> so thank you for joining me out here. So yeah, I wanted to talk to you today about a classic, a classic of classic board games, my friends. Way, way back from 1975. Picture it. Two whole years before I started playing Dungeons and Dragons. Wow. <laughs> that seems like more than a lifetime ago, I'll tell you. So 1975. That's when TSR published Dungeon. <laughs> now, this is a great game. This game is great for nostalgia. First and foremost, let me just say that. Because the nostalgic feeling of this game, I am all over that. But maybe, maybe you weren't there or on the cusp of being there to feel the nostalgia. Maybe you weren't even there for the reprints in the 80s to feel the nostalgia. That's fine. I think just knowing how nostalgic this game is, it will honestly give a feeling of nostalgia to people that shouldn't even have it by definition. <laughs> So, now the original game hasn't changed much at all. There was a few bigger differences in the 80s. Uh, classic Dungeon and uh, New Dungeon tried to make it more like second edition D&D at the time. I wasn't a big fan of that. But the original and the reprinting. I mean, the reprinting is the original game. <laughs> Updated art. And uh, a little bit of an add-on with the classes. Now, this game is going to make you feel like... Okay, if, if, if original basic D&D &D compared to advanced felt like advanced light, then this feels like basic light. <laughs> now, I also want to say right up front, or at least as up front as... I mean, we've already started the video. But I want to say that I honestly, 100% believe that if you are an old fantasy board game fan, or specifically a Dungeons and Dragons fan, or I guess nowadays a Pathfinder fan, right, and you want to introduce a, a child, your child, your niece, your nephew maybe, to the world of Dungeons and Dragons, Dungeon is the best way to start. Talk about wetting your feet into a fantasy pool. This game does it easily, easily. The rules are easy to learn. And the rules are easy to teach. And the game itself is quick to play. It could take you as little as 30 minutes. The more players you have are going to add on to that. Now, the newer versions of the game handle up to eight. Eight players. That's another good thing about this game. Is that it's a short played game that has a large maximum capacity of players. But large for a board game. Eight players. It has four different classes. Two of each. One in each sex. So, you have one male fighter, one female fighter, one male wizard, one female, uh, boom, 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 you get it back and forth. Uh, the, the classes, now they've changed a couple of times over the years, uh, and currently, currently the classes are fighter, wizard, rogue, and cleric. And there's two of each, as I said, one male, one female. Uh, the original game, I don't believe, had that option of male, female. It's just a up to four player game, one to four players. That's another thing is you can play this solo. If you haven't watched, I got two solos done already. 
one with the, uh, with the modern version of it and one with the original 75 version of it. And they play the same, and that is really fun, my friends. Now, speaking about gameplay, that's another thing I wanted to mention to you, is this gameplay is so is so easy to, to do. It's roll and move, which I'm not a big fan of, to tell you the truth, but because I kind of cut my teeth on this game when I was a kid, I let that slide. I let that slide. What you're doing is, it's a competitive game, all versus all. Unlike D&D, this is not a cooperative game. You are out to get more treasure than everyone else. And the different classes, just like the original D&D, where the different classes had different numbers of experience points to level up, same thing here. The different classes that you can and will choose from will have different amounts of treasure that they'll be able to win the game with. Oh, another nice thing about this game is, although this is a competitive game, you don't get out of the game. Like, if your character dies, you're not out of the game. You're not sitting there by yourself watching everyone else have fun. No, my friends. You grab another character, jump right back in there. Because there's no telling. Yeah, maybe another two players are way ahead of you on treasure. But if they die, they're going to be in the same boat as you. So, if anything happens to your character, just grab a new one, jump in there, and continue having fun. Speaking of jumping right into it and having fun, this game has, I think, a fair amount of replayability. Not only because you have s oh, six. <laughs> not only because you have four different classes, and each of them has their own, their own chances of attacking different monsters. That's the way it's all set up. When you draw a monster in a room to fight, it'll tell you what each different class has that is gonna need to roll to defeat that monster. Not just the classes, but like the wizard. Uh, it'll have a listing for his lightning bolt and his fireball spell. Sometimes, you know, a lightning bolt's going to work better than a fireball, depending on the monster that you're fighting. You don't want to hit a red dragon with a fireball, do you? No. <laughs> I also like the way this game sort of simulates the leveling up aspect of Dungeons and Dragons. So your characters aren't going to gain anything or get any better like they do in D&D. They're not going to gain new abilities and hit points. But as you go up to different levels, you're going to be fighting tougher and tougher monsters. Granted, they're going to be giving you better treasure. And that's how you sort of level up in the game. Is you're going to want to get enough treasure and magical items that it's going to help you defeat the tougher monsters as you're going on. So it, it does have this incremental, through equipment, through items, this incremental raising of abilities and making yourself better. And that definitely feels like leveling in D&D. So if you're looking for a good game, a family game, a family-friendly game, as a fantasy game, it's going to definitely make you think of, it's going to make you feel like you're kind of playing Dungeons & Dragons you're going to want to get Dungeon. If you have kids that you want to introduce to fantasy gaming in general, or specifically to Dungeons & Dragons, again, Dungeon is the way to go. It's going to give you all the basic feeling that you need that you're going to be in. Really feel like you're in a Dungeons & Dragons game without playing Dungeons & Dragons. It's a lot shorter than the game, too. So it's a great way to introduce... It, it's, it, this is, I think, the essential gateway game for Dungeons and Dragons. Like I said, there's a lot of different versions of it out there. You know, the new version is much like the original version, almost identical to the original version. And there's a couple of versions in the 80s, as I mentioned. New Dungeon and Classic Dungeon that change it up a little bit. I'm not sure how available they are to get. So you might be searching eBay for a while if that's what you're looking for. But these are great games. They be I believe that they need a shout-out. Possibly because they're so old, but also possibly just because more people, I think, need to know about this game. Sometimes you, you see it in a gaming store you, where you scroll through it on Amazon and you don't think about it. You'll be thinking about this game if you play it. Trust me, you will. So thank you for joining me down here and let me talk to you a little bit about one of my favorite all-time board games, Dungeon. Check it out. I hope you like it. And thank you all for checking us out, checking out Two Gun Pixie on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Very cool. Thank you so much for doing that and seeing what we drop over there. Mm.
awesome <laughs> and as most of you know by now we have a zazzle store print on demand with some nerdy designs some rpg inspired designs go check it out you don't know until you look it maybe you're gonna find something you like maybe you're gonna like that potion of healing stein that seems to be one of our big sellers and we have a t-shirt uh, there are 20 sides to every story it's another one of our big sellers go take a look it's a lot of things there and thank you so much everyone for coming here right here to youtube you subscribe to our channel you watch our videos you like and comment and you share our videos that is so awesome whenever you share a content creator's material anywhere that is an awesome way to tell that content creator that you really like their work and it's a good way to say thank you to them so thank you everyone thank you very much i'm your buddy big johnny g the two gun picks it presents Legendary Gaming and my friends, I am out of here. <laughs>